Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Swede Barbecue, and today we are going to grill some pork chops on the Memphis Wood Fire Grill. And we're going to serve that with a delicious smoked and chunky applesauce. So the first thing that we need to do is season the pork chops, and you can of course, go with salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, but I like to put on a good barbecue rub, a pork rub. Uh, you can go with any rub that's made for pork. We're gonna use our own. So sprinkle generously on both sides, and then you wanna put this in room temperature. Let it sit for about 45 minutes before we put it on the grill so that rub really can adhere to the pork. After seasoning the pork chops, you wanna trim, peel, and core the apples. And it's important to go with sweet apples for this dish. I personally prefer golden delicious. The way to easily do this is we start with cutting the top and the bottom of the apple out. Then we cut it in half, we peel it, and then we core it. So after trimming the apples, we wanna give them a kiss of smoke before we grill it. So we're gonna use apple pellets. We're gonna set the Memphis wood fire grills to smoke mode, 200 degrees, and we're gonna smoke them for about 15 minutes. So after smoking the apples for 15 minutes, it's time to give them a nice char for about five minutes. So remove the easy access insert, insert the direct flame insert, and set the temperature to medium. Now we're gonna grill the apples for about five minutes uh, until they're brown and have a nice light char. Also remember, when you do direct flame grilling on the Memphis, always grill with the hood open. The apple chunks now have a really nice brown color. Some of them have a good char on them. They have caramelization all over. So what we want to do now is we want to chop them up, up into uh, maybe about one inch pieces. All the apple chunks have now been chopped up into smaller pieces. So it's time to put them in a pan over low heat. Uh, and then we're going to simmer them for about 10 minutes. Together with the chopped apples, we're also gonna add half a cup of apple juice, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of allspice ground, and one teaspoon of cinnamon ground as well. And like I said, we're gonna let this simmer over low heat for about 10 minutes. Stir occasionally to form a slightly chunky applesauce. So we have reduced the applesauce, but we still wanna keep these big chunks because it's so much tastier. Gives it a little bit of texture when you eat it together with the pork. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to grill the pork chops. We still want to go medium on the Memphis wood fire grills. Uh, so direct flame. After grilling the pork chops now for about eight to 10 minutes over medium heat, it's time to remove them from the grill and let them rest for about five minutes. So we let the pork chops rest for about five minutes. It's now time to try them. Uh, good pink center. Oh man, Woo this is really good. You get a char from the pork chop, sweetness from the apples, but also smokiness. So it's really, really well balanced. Uh, this is good. Hope you try this at home. For more recipes like this, uh, make sure you subscribe to Memphis Wood Fire Grills YouTube channel and also check out their website www.memphisgrills.com for more recipes like this. <laughs> I'm taking some more of this stuff. Happy grilling everybody.